I'd like to take a moment to talk about our unique uh, air conditioning and heating systems that we have here in the Redwood. We're doing something that no one else in the RV industry is doing. Let's start with this. Let's just say you buy a large house and you have three air conditioners in the house. Uh, those three air conditioners are not plumbed together to cool down the entire house. That's what every single RV manufacturer does in this industry. Those three air conditioners in the house are actually zoned, right? And that zone creates efficiencies and you can you get colder rooms and you can have more control over how you set the, the temperatures in, in each room. Uh, this Redwood is built the same exact way. You have a racetrack uh, uh, duct system that goes through the roof, right? Five inch racetrack duct system, but it's, it's separate from the bedroom. So the bedroom has its own closed loop system and the kitchen and living room has its own closed loop system. So when you're ducting the air into the, into the, the back of the unit, you're not trying to have an air conditioner from all the way in the back of the unit trying to cool the, the front bedroom air AC. And the front bedroom AC is not trying to cool all the way to the back of your, of your living room. It's zoned. It's specifically for this area. Now, another great feature of our, of our air conditioning systems is that it is the whisper quiet. It's not only whisper quiet in your living room kitchen area, but it's also standard whisper quiet in your bedroom. It's a great place for manufacturers to save a little money and put the loud one in the bedroom and the uh, whisper quiet in the living room when you're trying to watch TV. But we're also trying to sleep. <laughs> so that whisper quiet comes in handy. You do have an option on every single Redwood to go to three air conditioners. Uh, and that would be two air conditioners in your living room kitchen area and one air conditioner in your, in your front bedroom. Now remember, all whisper quiet. Now, uh, a, a unique feature of having nine foot or eight and a half foot ceilings in the, in the redwood is the fact that you get more space and it feels nice and, and bright and open, especially if you're having long-term stays. Uh, one of the, the, the not so great benefits of that is that you're trying to, if you ever have a heat pump, you're trying to get heat from, a, from an eight and a half foot ceiling pushed down to your toes eight and a half feet you know, below. It works great in the bedroom, which is why we have a standard heat pump located in your bedroom and bathroom. Um, but in the, the living room area, we decided to boost up your fireplace and give you a 5200 BTU uh, electric heater on your fireplace, 5,200 watts or 5,200 BTUs, and that will warm up to 1,000 square feet. Uh, the max that you can go in an, an entire unit is 430 square feet, so you can imagine that's going to do more of the trick in your living room and kitchen area. If that's not enough, you also have a 35,000 BTU LP uh, furnace that you can turn on too. Get you right out of this unit. 